All right, welcome back. We're in, um... Well, I'll let you see for yourself. Graveyard. We're in the crypt. Explorer's Crypt. Uh... Dungeon number seven. Crypt of the Necrodancer? Oh no, my friend, that's- that's not for another week or two. It's funny because I am called the Calzone Funny Man. Yet... I only maybe have one Calzone, like, every six months. Calzone is not my preferred method of, of, uh, of mozzarella ingestion. So you are a fraud, yeah. Well, I didn't give myself that nickname. If I was telling people to call me the Calzone Funny Man and then... Here I am not eating Calzones, that's... That's one thing, but I have... I did not come up with this title. Alright, so, gotta figure out where I'm going. I go down there. I think I have to go to a different room that I, I avoided. Hang on. Sorry. You know how dungeons is. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. So, there's treasure chests all around me. All around me are familiar facers. Unknown placers. Again, if you think my dungeon skills are bad, wait until you see Oracle of Ages. I smell garbage. Hang on a minute. Wonder if it's my garbage. Yep, it's definitely my garbage. Hang on a minute, I'll be right back. Yep, it was garbage. The lid was slightly ajar. Or it might have been New Jersey wafting into my room, I don't know. Man, I joke about the New Jersey thing, and I actually do love New Jersey. I know I always shit on it. It's... plainly in jest. But, the truth is... Driving by Elizabeth Seaport... ...is a bad idea. Always has been, always will be. Sometimes you gotta drive through Elizabeth to get to the rest of Jersey. It is your duty as a New Yorker to shit on Jersey? Yeah, but I'm- I'm a Staten Islander. That's the pot calling the kettle black. Vinny, I thought you said you count as New York. We do! We are a borough of New York City. And there are vampiric wizards that live here as well. But the truth is... It's... Like, you can't make fun of- of... You know, don't throw stones from glass houses, is the expression. We were famous for our dump. You gotta read about the Fresh Kills Landfill chat. If you have any interest in- in... In my- my home, my land. Read about the Fresh Kills Landfill. And how it was, like... Disgusting garbage smell. Um... Where people were getting sick and mutating. Okay, I don't know about mutating. But it was the world's largest landfill at one point. And it was supposed to be temporary, but then they left it open. And it just kept growing and growing and growing. And if it kept going, it would have been the highest point on the eastern seaboard. The trash will always be within you. I remember I would go to the Staten Island Mall, and it would be nice because there would be some nice garbage. Some nice fucking hot garbage smell. While I'm trying to, you know, get to my, um, my parents' car. I mean, this is a long time ago. It closed in 2001, and was briefly opened again for, um, the wreckage, the rubble of, of September 11th. And then they closed it, and now it's a park. You bring your kids to play on the garbage park. Seems safe. It, well, actually it is, because they put a lot of soil, and tarps, and they have like a... Um, uh, what the fuck is it? It's, it's a little... it's nozzles that go into the garbage and release methane, I believe, into the, uh, into the atmosphere. So it's very... it's very safe, but it's a 50-year plan. So it's open, some of it's open, but in another 30 years or so, it's gonna be really nice. Yeah, there's- so there's vents. There's a ventilation system for the garbage to escape in a way that doesn't destroy the atmosphere. Vinny, the methane is destroying the atmosphere? Totally safe! I watched a really good propaganda video about that park a couple years ago. I mean, I don't- I don't really actually know what's going on over there, but I'm assuming... Assuming it was just wonderful. I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. Hmm. 
Why am I still alive? I I'm like breaking this game left and right. I don't even have the proper item for this part. <laughs> like I need the other jump item. Oh, that goes up two floors. More than anything else, I need to find the fucking thing. You know, the thing. The thing that jumps. I need the cape. Rock's cape. Vinny, have you seen Bill Hader impersonating Arnold Schwarzenegger deepfake? I did, I saw that. Come on! Whenever he did the impression, they, they put Arnold's face on him. It was really, um, it was terrible, actually. It was disturbing. Vinny, that chest was it. But, I sequence broke to get that chest. Did I not? I've watched a little bit- no, you didn't sequence break? Okay. Uh, I watched a little bit more of Barreled, Bill Hader's show, and, um, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm only on, like, episode four, but it's pretty enjoyable. Steven Root is in that as a character actor. I want to talk about Steven Root for a minute, because that motherfucker's got range. First of all, he looks 50, he's 67. He looks like he's, like, 48, 50. So people are always talking about Keanu Reeves finding the Fountain of Youth, but Steven Root has been 50 for 25 years. So Steven Root, you may know him as Milton from Office Space. Um... Took my stapler. He's also, um... Oh, fuck. He was also in, uh, The Man in the High Castle. Isn't he Bill from King of the Hill? Oh, I don't know. Vinny not here. Oh, you're right, it is not here. But he's a really great supporting actor, and, and, uh... He, he's good in the show. I just really appreciate that dude, because I see him in the show, I'm like... This guy is in a lot of things that I really like. And then I look up his, his information on Wikipedia, and, and he's fucking, he's like... 70 years old, and I'm like, how, how? He was a Klingon in TNG. Are you serious? Oh, this is how you do this? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't a sequence break, I just... ...got over there in a weird way. Okay. Oh, uh, this noise. I actually like this item a lot. I hate the noise it makes so much. God. I... So, before you get here, you have to kill the skull lads? Zelda time, how has Vin doing? Vin is suffering. Vin could have gotten the Rock's cape... ...maybe... ...ten minutes ago. Seven minutes ago. Oh, good. Less chances to succeed. Even- even more fun. God, at least I got the cape, but still. Wait, maybe I don't need to be up there anyway. Maybe I'm fine back here. Nope, that's not true. I have to go back here anyway. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of it's a little bit of um a pain in the ass in this. It, you know, just just because you you know, just, when you suck at video games. That was an attempt at a sentence. Was it though? Not really. I mean, the effort required for the sentence would have been a little greater if I. If I wanted it to come out right. <laughs> don't think about sentence before you say, Denny, because it might not come out right. Bats! I'm... I'm losing power. Jamie, I need cookies. I'm losing power. 
God damn it, give me a shield! <laughs> God. I, I really sometimes wish the shield was automatic in this game, like Link to the Past. That's okay, we're, we're good. We are golden. I wonder if someone could mod this game to have the sounds be less painful. It's a lot of deaths in this one dungeon alone. I mean, I'm good now. I have a key. I know where to go. It's not gonna happen again. There will be no more death on this stream. None more. Boy, if only I had the cane from Link to the Past. Boy, if only I had the, the shield functioned like Link to the Past. Boy, if only this was Link to the Past. Oh, that sounded like that wet fart that the gnome was doing. What does a ghost need with a sword? We eat again! Will you break our curse, or will we break you? Time will tell. Motherfucker, what just happened? Oh, the lights went out? Did they put the lights out? Because I just lit those two torches, I figured they were going to be lit for a while. This is infuriating. I guess we'll just have to go all the way back. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, chat. Vinny, never apologize for the funny, disgusting noises you make. Sometimes they're disgusting, sometimes they're disgusted. That was a disgusted noise. When I do... That's disgusted. Yeah! Yeah, fight the boss with two and a half hearts! Oh, I have to do this cool puzzle again. They really fuck you if you don't get that boss fight. <laughs> oh my god. That's not even a boss, it was a mini-boss! That's great, though. That's great that if you lose, you, you lose five minutes, and people say Dark Souls is a pain in the ass. Yeah! Gah! Vinny, take it easy for a little while. I'm, I'm, I'm great, I'm doing, I'm doing fucking lovely, thanks. Never. I'll never come back to haunt you. That's good. Ah, uh, I don't wanna. That's great. You don't wanna come back to haunt me. I thank you for that. I appreciate that. This dungeon has been a nightmare for me. I, I have... I have failed this dungeon. Back in my day, when the game was the game. Oh, this is not one of my favorite Zelda games. Uh, I'd still say it's a good one. A lot of the shortcomings are... just... preference. Are you just supposed to die there? I mean, your ears. Are your ears supposed to just die there? What have I done?! No! I haven't raged at a Zelda game like this, I don't think ever. I, I may never have raged at a Zelda game. That's probably not true. I, I probably... Ocarina of Time randomized, Zelda 2 randomized. There's been frustration. It's usually the randomized streams, though, not this. Ten Arrows, yeah, the Ten Arrows incident, of course, comes to mind! Please, why do you play this game? Booty, I don't understand. I'm a grown-ass adult. I need a moment, chat. Just please give me a moment, thank you. I see the number of statues, I just don't know how to get to the one. Oh, you gotta go fast here. This, is, this isn't this is just a... ...a fun time mechanic, this is actual game. This is real life. Ooh! Fuck! Stop! I thought I was gonna have a nice, relaxing night with Zelda. I really did. I thought I was gonna be chill. It was gonna be so chill. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
2.30 a.m. Not too late to start drinking, right? <laughs> this is- it's a good time to break out the scotch, yes? Drinking alone? No, I, I'm drink- I would be drinking with all of you. Isn't that a cool justification? That's how you do it. Fred, I remember you streamed this game like eight years ago. How do you feel about this game, Fred? What are, you, what, what are your true, honest thoughts about Oracle of Ev Seasons? You were drunk too? Oh god. Does this game just drive people to drink? Well, I, I actually didn't have any alcohol today. I'm considering it. I'm fucking considering it. But I, I'm good now. I got the key and everything. Yeah, I thought I preferred Seasons, because this was the one I started with when the games came out. And I just, I have this... I like Seasons. <laughs> That's an empty statement if I've ever said one. I like Seasons. But I, I guess I kind of do like Seasons. I don't know. And I figured I like the theme of the game a little bit better than the time travel, because time travel's been done. And this, this concept is kind of unique. So, I like the game, I'm just bad at it. But more people seem to like ages better. Ah, finally a boss. Or I could just hit the boss in the face with my sword a thousand times and win. I said, hit the boss in the face at the- oh my god. OH NO! No! Come on! Get me out of the way! God fucking God! I I, I was st stuck there. Like my Link got stuck. I tried to move, but I couldn't move. I couldn't moopies. I couldn't. I couldn't do the moopies. I I haven't been like this on stream in a while. In a in a long time. That was an easy dungeon. All the while, the vague smell of garbage permeates my house. Okay, let's take a moment to reflect on everything that just happened. Now, you know what? Instead, I'm just gonna show you Ultra Leno. You know how I did the Ultra Leno voice, right? Well, someone linked me to... Um... Two Ultra Lenos. Here's the first Ultra Leno. And, uh... Here's the second Ultra Leno, which I think the second one is a mix of of Jay Leno and fucking Weird Al or Kenny G. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, Kenny G. All right. I'm glad it was Kenny G and not Weird Al because Weird Al does not deserve that. Eddie Vedder. No, I don't think that was Eddie Vedder. Uh, Kenny G sounds about right. Lately, I've had this weird, um, thing. Whenever I think Eddie Vedder, I think of him singing a very specific line that he's never sang before, but I just- I always hear it in my head. When I think of Eddie Vedder, I think, a uh, high ho silver away, high ho silver away, yeah, 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 I've gone hungry, high ho silver away, to the tune of, um, Hunger Strike by Temple of the Dog. Hi-ho, silver! Away, yeah, yeah, yeah! Ah, here. That's another thing Eddie Vedder does in, in his song sometimes. He'll go, I hear. Someone just said, Vinny, please shut up. Do you know there are silent Let's Plays of this game online, right? <laughs> it's okay. He's right, I should shut up. I mean, for every one person that tells me to shut up, 200 more people are like, Yes, Vinny, do the funny voice. So he goes, ha ho shiver Alright. I'm just happy that dungeon's over. I'm a little giddy. I'm gonna do something I should have done a little while ago, which is lower the game a bit. Because it does get really piercing. Up until now, I just- I figured my volume was like a little... Because I, I have a very specific volume level that, um, I have my own headphones at, so I know if I'm slowly going deaf, I can tell- you know, I can say to myself, well, it's at the same level. So, if I'm not hearing this thing as well, then it must be piercing, or I'm losing my hearing. 
Vinny, south of Gnarled Root Dungeon in Summer for double attack ring. Yeah, alright, that sounds good. Thank you, chat member. <laughs> 